Hello, this is Tyler from THJ Coffee. Today I'm, I am going to discuss with you guys a little bit about Instagram marketing and how you can use it for your coffee business or cafe or whatever coffee-oriented business that you're running. Okay, so just a quick demographic breakdown is that 59% of people on Instagram are between the ages of 18 and 29, and this can't be understated. So um, it's, it, it's very effective for... Um, this demographic, but on the other hand, 33% are between the ages of 30 and 49. So a key thing here is to look at where your numbers are, which demographic is most represented by your current business, and if um, Instagram or Facebook might be a better uh, tool to use. So the other big thing is that 38% are women, compared to 28% of men that um, use this network. So if if your business is more frequent by women, much more effective than men. And I think it, in general, most social media networks have higher numbers of women than men. So it's, it's pretty common, this trend. Okay, so to, um, to cut to the chase, um, the main thing is um, to understand that Instagram is a tool to increase awareness for your coffee brand. Um, the photos, videos, and and stories um, introduce your coffee brand as well as your products to your followers, but it does not replace the brand itself, the actual substance. It's like a, a facade on a business, like a, a, a store sign or something. You want to make it look good, but that doesn't mean that who you are it, it it draws people in but then you also have to have substance to back it up and um that's a um th that's critical because i there's been um many cases where people over push social media and then people get to their um actual product or service and they're very they're um not satisfied and and it's i think often better to kind of um make people under expect and over expect um, is um, this will probably actually draw people back if they're kind of under expecting and you, you surpass their expectations. So um, the, the remaining tips with um, utilizing Instagram are, are um, these three. People buy from people. People don't buy from from bots, from machines. They don't, they, they won't feel like a personal connection to the business to to what it is you're selling and um there's been there's this mindset more than ever before that um you, you can just um push a brand there ha there's no personality there's nothing behind it um there's no human connection and that is not the case um even most of the most successful brands such as starbucks or other coffee brands out there they start very much as an interpersonal connection cafe setting customer service was top-notch and expanded utilizing that same model they scaled that same model they didn't scale it to make it impersonal they still maintain the personality they just utilized scale and applied the same principles and um that that can't be like um emphasized enough now other ways to give that personal connection on instagram is post photos, post videos, such as behind the scenes information of maybe employees or um, new new coffee uh, varieties coming out or whatever it may be that's unique to your brand. The second thing is to use captions and hashtags. Now this can't be under, this can't be stated enough for social media that hashtags and captions are often how the search engines um, function on the on these platforms that the more of these you use the more often that it will bring some to your page and will um, I guess give you their eyeballs so the more hashtags aim for at least 10 to 15 the more likely that person will be referenced to your page if they type into a a word or term that's that's similar or relates to your business or the concept now the third thing is to engage with your followers. The following obviously is um, is is one of those things where um, 
don't think of your following as as being the is um is just being paid customers because sometimes people think that they equate following with paid customers and um and sometimes like there's businesses that have huge followings but actually have very few paid customers and and this is kind of the um th there's a term that I use for this and um this is the like kind of social media um myth or I. I, I don't know. There, there's um, probably a term out there that some of you guys might know. But um, if you, um, you obviously want to put focus on the following. But a better way to think about this in terms of um, engaging with the followers is um, find people that are actually customers that do follow your page and have them be somewhat of evangelists. And you're... Um, you're better off taking a viral approach with your following in the sense that if you find like a hundred paid customers and they help spread the word, um, that's a lot more effective than say using paid advertisement to get quote thousand followers that aren't actually like paid customers. And um, whereas maybe like five or 10 people of those actual people are paid customers. And um, on a macro level, it's actually, um, not not that effective um, long term wise. You you need like um, like refer referral by word and a reputation built on on your business, not your social media business pages. Um, there there's often discrepancies there, and make sure to engage with your followers, comment on posts, reply to videos or photo captions, and also. The more the following you have also might draw like other news outlets or other um, YouTubers or 